uh, especially with bringing Artie Lang on board for the eight months he was with me. Uh, it's very difficult to get into any kind of uh, commentary on society with Artie Lang sitting there. How was uh, that? It was odd. It was great. I mean, you know, the, the, the preface everyone gives is fucking love Artie. Uh, he's hilariously funny, uh, so quick, and, and just a goofy knock around regular guy. Uh, but the demons, man, the yeah. demons, it, it was it was kind of rough to deal with. I, like I said, I'm a relaxed guy. If Artie didn't show up one day, I do the show myself. Didn't he do the show with Opie for a while? No, he was a guest on Opie's show, and, and I guess Opie approached him to be a co-host or uh, something, okay. and he, he said no. Okay. Um, but yeah, he was never part of the show. I thought he was going to be part of the show. Was yeah, like, there was kind a, of a rumor going okay, around for a while. Yeah. Uh, so when he came on, I was like, it's not going to kill me if he doesn't show up, right. you know, for a day every so often, because I'll just do the show myself. Uh, but it, <laughs> it turned out to be a little more than that. And there were some days that were really good and other days where it was a little frayed around the edges and, uh, you know, he's, redundant. He's got a different kind of demons. He's yeah. got like Beelzebub. He's got like the main demon. He really does, man. Yeah, and it's he's... so fucking sad to see because, I mean, th th there's no question about the talent there. He's, yeah. he's hilarious. hilarious. And a great guy. Great guy. You Loyal always guy. hear that. Yeah. You always hear that. Yeah. I, I, I remember when we hired him, it was, uh, I was at the Comedy Cellar and David Tell came up. He goes, so you're uh, working with Artie. I'm like, uh, yeah, he goes, well, welcome to the wonderful world of the 3 a.m. phone calls and not being able to find him. I'm like, oh, fuck, what did we get ourselves into? And yeah. and that's kind of what we got ourselves into. But yeah. again, I mean, I had a great time. Uh, his, he's one of the funniest motherfuckers, especially on a mic like that. The, the, who would think that when Jackie Martling left the Stern show, they'd be able to replace him with somebody that was just funny as fuck? And, and yeah have legendary shows with with uh Artie on and um you know he he definitely earned a place in in broadcast history but we just you know after eight months it got a little too crazy uh to unpredictable and you need some predictability what was what was bad about it well it was uh, the the attendance issue was a little odd um Sound like a principal yeah yeah the <laughs> attendance he was he was tardy uh and, and and there were some days he was fucking just most days he was awesome, but there were some days where you know the heads down it was kind of mm -hmm. kind of a little iffy, and you know regardless I know he knows that too I mean he's he's he lives in that body yeah. so you know he knows it so it, it was a little odd um, and then we picked up Dave Landau who's a, a young comic out of uh, Detroit he uh, filled in a couple of times when. Uh, we had him as a guest on the show, and then he filled in a couple of times during uh, Artie's few sabbaticals that uh, he was away for a week or so. Uh, and me and Dave just hit it off. He, he's got a great he's sense great. of humor. He's a little twisted. He's got a great backstory. The guy was just a fucking piece of shit for a long time. Really? <laughs> he, his stories about like drunk driving. He crashed every car he had. He was arrested 15 times before he was 18. Like, just a disaster. And... You look at him now, he's got a great wife, a beautiful kid, he's a working comic, and it, he's awesome. He, d he knows how to co-host my show. He, he gets it. He, uh, we don't step on each other. He, he knows exactly what to throw in and when, so uh, really happy with, uh, with Dave Landau. He's a yeah, great guy. I only did one show with him the last time I was in town with yeah. you, but I, he's great. I really yeah, he's a, he's a good guy, man. Smart dude. Yeah, quick. smart and really decent. Like, yeah. It's so weird to see people that you didn't know when they were such fuck-ups and <laughs> fucked up. Because like, you, know, you almost want to... Go, all right, come on, just drink one night. I want to see what a disaster you are, you know? Uh, yeah.